Hi, I'm Jean Riel. Today talking about Room 237. Room 237 is a documentary film directed by Rodney Asher that explores the many theories and interpretations surrounding Stanley Kubrick's classic horror film The Shining. The film consists of a series of interviews with various individuals who have each developed their own unique and often bizarre take on the film. Here's a more detailed look at the different theories presented in the documentary. The Holocaust Theory One interviewee in the documentary suggests that The Shining is Kubrick's confession to having helped fake the moon landing footage for the U.S. government. The theory argues that Kubrick felt guilty about his involvement in the conspiracy and used The Shining as a way to express his guilt. The interviewee goes on to link the film to the Holocaust, arguing that the typewriter that Jack Torrance, played by Jack Nicholson, uses in the film is a German model used by the Nazis during World War II. The Native American Genocide Theory Another interviewee argues that The Shining is a commentary on the genocide of Native Americans. The theory suggests that the hotel in the film is built on Native American burial grounds, and that the ghosts in the film represent the spirits of the dead. The interviewee also suggests that the film contains a number of subtle references to Native American culture, such as the Calumet baking powder cans in the pantry, which have a Native American chief on the label. The Oedipus Theory Another theory presented in the documentary is that The Shining is a retelling of the Oedipus myth. The theory argues that Jack Torrance represents Oedipus, and that the hotel represents the labyrinth that Oedipus must navigate. The interviewee suggests that the ghosts in the film represent the spirits of Oedipus's victims, and that the scene where Jack kisses the woman in the bathtub represents the Oedipus complex. The Subliminal Messaging Theory Finally, another theory presented in the documentary suggests that The Shining is filled with subliminal messages that reveal the film's true meaning. The interviewee argues that Kubrick included these messages as a way to communicate with his audience on a subconscious level. Examples of these messages include the word sex hidden in the clouds outside the hotel, and the fact that the number of the room where the murders take place, room 237, is a reference to the distance between the earth and the moon. Room 237 is a fascinating exploration of the many interpretations and theories that have arisen around The Shining since its release in 1980. While some of the theories presented in the film are certainly far-fetched, they all offer a unique perspective on one of the most iconic horror films of all time. Thank you for watching. Subscribe now. Have a good day.